Hello and welcome to BMAD in Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial I would like to show you how to solve the problem of joining walls and columns. I am sure you all face the problem of changing the thicknesses of lines when the column and the wall are joined. That is why in this tutorial I will show you how to solve that problem in a very simple way. Here we have uh, here we have a Vila project and uh, to make it easier for you to follow the tutorial I make the columns material red line, uh, red color. This is our structural column. Okay. And now I will change the uh, base level and top level. All right, I will turn off this tool so we can see the uh, thickness of the cut lines. All right, and now I'm going to join the wall and column. And now you see here we have a change uh, in this uh, uh, cut lines of the column. That can be very annoying, so <laughs> I make research how to solve th that problem and the way is very simple. We will create in object style, we will create new line type. I will name it line 4 millimeter, And from here we will change the thickness of the line. The color will be black and that will be a uh, solid line. Alright, and now I will draw the lines here. I will select these lines and from here we will select our new created uh, line type. Now I will align these lines with reference planes in, in the uh, column family. Alright, I will lock them. So every change on the column will be followed by a change on the lines. Alright, you can also add the parameter, visibility parameter for these lines. From here you can create type or uh, intense uh, parameter I've uh, created already. Visibility parameter and that's it. Now we will uh, load our family with changes. And we will go to edit type and turn on the visibility the lines okay that's it you can see the way is very simple when you change the scale of the drawing the your line will be uh, visible especially when you create details all right just just to show you one example more Okay, now I'm going to join the walls and the columns. All right. And that's it. You can see we have perfect line thicknesses in, in both cases. After this, I will show you how to make the same uh, parameter with uh, beams in the section views. We have same problem when joining the beams and walls. As you can see, using callout, we, you can create details and you will have a very good 
presentation of details using using this very simple way okay now you can see by changing the scale the line thicknesses uh, change also all right now i will show you how to do the same uh, the same how to use this method on uh, beams we will go on sh on section view and here we have here we have the beam you can see uh, the line thicknesses on joint parts are changed all right i will delete this uh, beam and i will create a new one this is first floor of our villa project and here we have beams all right our beam goes to the best now i will move it uh, first i will select the beam i need for this project and now i will move it up I will deselect the frame, okay. And now I will join the beam and the wall. So you can see the problem that's appear when we join them. Here we have the change in the line thickness. I'm going on edit family. Uh, here on the floor plan, I will create a section. Now we'll go to the section and I need to create line type. I'm going to object style. From here I will create line type with a projection and cut thicknesses four. The line uh, the color will be black and that will be a solid line. From here, I need to choose the, the the reference plan. Okay. First, I will I will select the new type that I've created before. All right, and I, I will lock the lines to the reference plans uh, you can add the visibility parameter here too all right we'll create new one we'll call it lines <coughs> and now i will load this family to the project and that's it as you can see the method is very simple all right and if you want to use if you want to use the uh, call out tool to create details here I have already created call out tool, so I will go uh, just before that I would like to show you the uh, visibility parameter of the lines. If you turn off, you will have this annoying part of the uh, teeny lines.
Okay, now we will go to call out view and from here you can change the scale and create your details. That's that is very good. The same is in the floor plans and when we create a PDF file or when we uh, print the project you will see these uh, changes can make your uh, project presentations uh, very good. Okay from this section I will show you the the villa project and here you can see the uh, glass railings uh, but that maybe I will show you in the other tutorial how to create this kind of railings that's all for this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and sh to share my work with your friends and colleagues you can also leave the comments and like my tutorials thank you very much see you in the next tutorial